Today we're going to be talking about how to cut a pattern bar on a Rose engine. And why are we going to cut a pattern bar on a Rose engine? Because the old pattern bars are hard to find and very expensive. So by using a straight line attachment on a Linda White Rose engine and having over 50 different rosettes to pick from, from those 50 rosettes you can get hundreds of designs for pattern bars. Some are going to look aesthetically better than others. So what I've done in the last few weeks is come up with a program to cut pattern bars. And this is the first part of the program. You use a two flute, three sixteenths diameter end mill. Make yourself a little fixture to hold the plexiglass in place and make a test. Cut a pattern bar on two pieces of plexiglass, a shown and an opposite. Then take it to the straight line and see if you get an aesthetically pleasing result. On this particular pattern bar, I cut it in some engraving brass and I tried three different uh, movements on my straight line machine and all the patterns turned out aesthetically pleasing. Now you can't use plexiglass as a pattern bar as the tips uh, on the bar will diminish over let's say 20 or 30 minutes worth of use but for the first 5 or 10 minutes to see whether you're getting an aesthetically good pattern it'll work just fine and once I know that that pattern that's coming off of this rosette looks good I'll come back over and I'll cut that bar into some 5 16 A2 tool steel. And with that, I'll need to change my tool bit to a 3 16 diameter carbide end mill. And using this on the tool steel and moving over 3 thousandths for each cut, no more than 3 thousandths, or you'll bog the machine down you can cut a really nice pattern bar one like this with a really nice uh, design and finish finish being something that's very critical in this process in about 30 to 40 minutes so one other thing that you have to keep in mind when cutting pattern bars is to find an old pattern bar like this one on eBay was $75 where I can cut several pattern bars on this machine, have them heat treated for less than that. So that's the reason we're doing this process. It's easy, it's inexpensive, and you can use your imagination as much as you want to pick out certain styles of pattern bars off of a rosette. Now if we'll come a little closer and we're going to show you how I cut that pattern bar in plexiglass. As you can see, cutting in plexiglass, hard plexiglass, is effortless. A lot of times if I put both pieces together at the same time and the amplitude is very small, I can cut both sides at the same time. Now this particular cut only takes about a minute and we're almost done all right well, let's go take a look and see what we have this is the holding fixture it's two counterboard 1032 screws two dowel pins and two quarter 20 screws this is the clamping top and all you need is two uh, Water 20 bolts to hold that, that, that in there. And on the bottom, you need, uh, you'll need four T-nuts. If you want to do a shown and an opposite, and keep in mind, you have to counter bore for the head of the T-nut. That's all it takes to make the fixture. And you could probably make this part out of MDF if you had to. So now this is the setup for the shown side in our tool steel. What I'll do is I would crank up the RPM about as fast as it'll go, a few drops of oil, take it nice and slow on each cut. If it uh, 
if it's taking a little too much, you always want to back it off. And if you're going to back it off because you've taken too much cut, remember, you always use this cross slide to cut. You never use your hardage cross slide to feed in. Because once you're on center line for cutting your pattern bar in the center of the machine, you always leave it there. If you were to use your hardest cross slide to feed over, if you get too far off the center, your pattern will be slightly distorted. And you don't want that. So remember, always feed from this slide right here. So that's about it for cutting pattern bars on a Linda White Rose engine. And we're done. And we'll see you next time in the Rose Engine Shop.